Good morning, everybody. Welcome to story time, a special edition. Miss Margaret is back at home for story time today. So welcome. I'm glad you could watch today. Now, friends, I'm so excited because spring is here. Oh my goodness, spring! I love spring! And the flowers and the sunshine, it's getting a little bit warmer out there. Oh, I can't wait to get heading towards summer too, right friends? So when I think of spring, besides flowers, sometimes I think of bunnies! Do you like bunnies? I love bunnies! So here's a little bunny. Got one here. And this reminds me of the story I'm going to be reading to you today. And the story I'm going to be reading to you today is called Little Rabbit Foo Foo. Now, bunny is just another name for rabbit. There he is. Friends, this is such a silly story. I think you're really going to like it. But before I start it, and I want to first thank our publisher, Simon & Schuster, for giving us permission to use this, uh, I want to tell you that you can say several different words for bunny or rabbit, and they mean the same thing. So for instance, rabbit, you know what that is, can also be called a bunny, right? And another kind of rabbit that's a little bigger and really fast is called a hare. Okay, can you say that? Hare. So we've got hare, we've got bunny, and we've got little rabbit foo-foo. They all mean pretty similar things. So I want you to remember that for later. That's gonna come up in our story, okay? Great! All right. So, friends, to start, I thought we'd do a little song. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to clear my throat. And that's gonna be our song when cows get up in the morning. Do you wanna do that with me? And make some animal sounds. Okay, let's do it. All right, I have my little cow here. He's so cute. Little brown and white speckled cow. Moo. Okay, now warm up your voices because you're gonna sing at home with me. All right. Let's do it together. When cows get up in the morning, they always say hello. When cows get up in the morning, they always say hello. And what do they say? Let's hear it. Moo. <laughs> and that is what they say. Very good. I thought you'd remember this song. Okay, let's try a different animal. What's this? A pig, right? You know, you're so smart. So our pink pig. Let's see what they say in the morning. When pigs get up in the morning, they always say hello. When pigs get up in the morning, they always say hello. And what do they say? Oink, 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 oink. <laughs> and that is what they say. Great. All right, what's next? Let's do a horse. You do a horse? Think of what a horse makes. What sound does a horse make? Yeah, they're so big. Oh, look at this beautiful horse. Oh, with this beautiful mane. I love horses. All right, ready? When horse gets up in the morning, they always say hello. When horse gets up in the morning, she always says hello. And what does she say? What's our horse gonna say? Nay! <laughs> and that is what she says. Great. All right, I got a tricky one now. What's this? Can you see it? I'll hold it up really close. It's a frog. All right, it's time to say good morning to frog. Frog is green just like my sweater, right? Which is another color for spring. That's why I wore this sweater. Okay, here we go. When frog gets up in the morning, he always says hello. When frog gets up in the morning, he always says hello. And what does he say? Ribbit, 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 ribbit. <laughs> ribbit. And that is what he says. Now it's your turn. When kids get up in the morning, they always say hello. When kids get up in the morning, they always say hello. And what do you say? Hello. Hi, everybody. Yay. And that is what we say. <laughs> Great, great. Now, are you ready for our story? Let's start our story, okay. Now again, friends, this is an awfully silly story. 
So it's called Little Rabbit Foo Foo, and it's by Michael Rosen. Michael Rosen is the person who wrote the story. So that is called an author. And then it's illustrated by Arthur Robbins. Now an illustrator is the person who draws the pictures. Okay, here we go. Let's see what happens. Little Rabbit Foo Foo, oh my goodness. Retold by Michael Rosen because it's been retold for years. This is, story's been around a long time. You ready? Here we go. <laughs> Little Rabbit Foo Foo riding through the forest, scooping up the field mice and bopping them on the head. Can you bop yourself on the head? Bop. <laughs> Oh no, he's got this little hammer. He's bopping him on the head. Let's see how many field mice he's going to bop. One, two, three field mice. He's bopping him on the head. Oh. Down came the good fairy and she said, Little rabbit foo foo, I don't like your attitude. Scooping up the field mice and bopping them on the head. I'm going to give you three chances. And if you don't change, I'm going to turn you into a goon. Now, in this story, friends, a goon is just a silly little green monster, a goofy green monster. Okay, I don't want to turn into a goon, do you? All right, I hope he listens to the fairy godmother. She looks like she's trying to teach him a lesson. Let's see what happens. Little rabbit foo foo riding through the forest scooping up the wriggly worms. Do you see the wriggly worms? And bopping them on the head. Bop! All right. Oh, they got little bumps on their head. Down came the good fairy. Uh-oh. And she said, little rabbit foo-foo, I don't like your attitude scooping up the wriggly worms and bopping them on the head. You've got two chances to change, and if you don't, I'm going to turn you into a goon. <laughs> oh no. All right, he doesn't look like he's gonna change. Do you think he'll change his attitude and be kinder? Let's see. All those poor Wrigley worms. Little rabbit Foo Foo riding through the forest, scooping up the tigers and bopping them on the head. Now, friends, that's not a good idea to bop tigers on the head. Oh, no. Down came the good fairy and she said, Little rabbit Foo Foo, I don't like your attitude scooping up the tigers and bopping them on the head. You've got one chance left. And if you don't change, I'm going to turn you into a goon. Oh no, look at those poor tigers. There's only two of them, two of them. All right. Little rabbit Foo Foo riding through the forest, scooping up the goblins. Look at all those goblins. Oh and bopping them on the head. Oh no, he's still doing it. He hasn't learned his lesson. Down came the good fairy and she said, little rabbit Foo Foo, I don't like your attitude, scooping up the goblins and bopping them on the head. You've got no chances left. So I'm going to turn you into a goon. Oh no! All right, he didn't learn his lesson. And she did. Pow! <laughs> Look what happened. Oh no! What's happening to little rabbit Foo Foo? <gasps> he turned into a goon! Oh no! Now friends, there's always something you can learn from a story and that's called a moral. So the moral of this story is Hair today, goon tomorrow. Because <laughs> hair is another name for a rabbit, which makes it silly. And instead of gone, it's goon tomorrow. Oh, I told you it was silly. I told you it was silly. Hair today, goon tomorrow. <laughs> you can share that with your caregivers, right? It's kind of a joke. It's a joke. It's a silly, silly joke. All right. Are we ready for some other fun? Okay. Now, I was thinking about rabbits, but I also was thinking about a little song we could do 
called I Had a Little Turtle. Do you see my little turtle over here? Oh, he's so cute. And his name's Tim. And this little song is going to be about a turtle just like him with his cute little shell. And he's called Tiny Tim. Okay, now for this song, I'm going to show you how to say some words with your hands, which is called sign language. And we've done this before. So what we're going to learn today is we're going to learn how to say turtle with our hands. First of all, we're going to put our thumb up like this. Can you do that? Like thumbs up, like good job. Okay, thumb. And then over your thumb, you're going to make like a shell. So it looks kind of like a turtle. Can you see? Okay. All right, so this is how the song goes. Oh, I should probably tell you the other things. Okay, we're gonna do turtle, and we're also gonna do eat. This is how we eat, okay? Pretty easy, yeah. The rest of it you can just follow along, okay? So we've got turtle, and we've got eat. Here's how the song goes. I'll say it once, and then you join me the next time, okay? Get your turtles ready. Okay, it goes like this. I had a little turtle, his name was Tiny Tim. I put him in the bathtub to see if he could swim. He drank up all the water, glug, glug, glug. He ate up all the soap. And now he's there, sick in bed with bubbles in his throat. Right, you touch your throat. Bubbles, 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 pop. Bubbles, 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 pop. You got it? <laughs> okay, it's very silly. Okay, let's get our turtle ready. Put your thumb up. Put your shell over the turtle. Let's get Tiny Tim ready. Okay. I had a little turtle. His name was Tiny Tim. I put him in the bathtub to see if he could swim. <laughs> he drank up all the water. Glug, glug, glug. He ate up all the soap. Okay, pretend like you're eating. And now he's there, sick in bed. Oh no. With bubbles in his throat. Touch your throat. Bubbles, 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 pop. Bubbles, 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 pop. Yay! <laughs> that was a fun one, wasn't it? I know, it's kind of silly. All right, you could try that one at home, okay? Show, show your parents that one at the dinner table. Now, because we're singing, I thought we'd do one of our favorite singing songs, friends. Shall we go to the moon? Let's go to the moon together, yay! Let's zoom, zoom, zoom and go to the moon, okay? Do you remember how we start this? We have to put our hands together like this, like they're a rocket ship, okay? And it goes like this. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon in five, four, three, two, one, blast off! <laughs> okay. Okay, you ready to go to the stars with me? All right, get those hands ready. Far, 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 we're going to the stars. Far, 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 we're going to the stars. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Far, 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 we're going to the stars. In five, four, <laughs> three, two, one, Blast off! <laughs> oh my goodness, you're good at this. All right, now our last trip is to the sun. Fun, fun, fun. We're going to the sun. Ready? Get your hands ready. Okay. Fun, fun, fun. We're going to the sun. Fun, fun, fun. We're going to the sun. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Fun, 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 we're going to the sun in five, four, three, two, one, blast off! <laughs> oh, what a fun trip. It's always so fun to go to the moon with you. <laughs> All right, friends, thanks so much for joining me and learning about little rabbit Fufu and the moral.
that he learned his lesson, didn't he? Not bopping people on the head. That's not a nice thing to do. We want to be kind to our friends, right? Always. <laughs> so let's do our wave goodbye. I've got my hand stamp and then, of course, bubbles. Okay. All right. So let's wave high. Wave up high. Stretch up really high this time. And then wave low. I'm going very low. I think it's time. I have to go. So wave your elbows and wave your toes. I promise I'm waving mine. I know you can't see, but I'm waving them. <laughs> wave your hips and wave your nose. Wave your ears and blink your eyes. Wave your hands and say goodbyes. Bye, everybody. <laughs> okay, now bubbles are going to happen a little differently this time but they'll still come down. You ready? I'm going to sing a really quick bubble song and they're just going to magically appear. You ready? Here we go. One, two, three, bubbles, you and me. Bubbles, bubbles, bubbles in the air. One, two, three, bubbles, you and me. Bubbles, bubbles, bubbles everywhere. <laughs> All right, let's get this stamp ready, friends. Can you put out your hands for me? One and two, put those out. You'll get a double stamp today. All right, here we go. You ready? Boop, there's one and boop, there's two. Two stamps just for you. <laughs> Great. Friends, thanks so much for joining me and we'll be doing in-person story times as well. So make sure you check our website to see what times they're usually on Tuesday mornings, but check our website or give us a call at the library, 708-352-0100, and we're always happy to help. Bye, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your day.